This is the Endless Sleeper 2, and it's a pedal that has two delays that feed back into each other. It also has a bit crusher and some pretty extreme modulation. These controls over here control the delay one. These are the controls for delay two. And over here we have the bit crusher and additional modulation options. <laughs> Sleeper are analog voice digital delays that sound really great. I feel like this whole pedal sounds like walking through like a snowy night in the middle of winter all yeah. alone. You gotta be alone though, right? You Definitely. know what I mean? That's yeah. the vibes. Listen, if you don't think it sounds like that, that's fine. That's just what I think. I mean, uh, yeah. It's crisp. Crispy and lonely. Yeah, crispy. That's just the way I like it. I love, cri <laughs> I love my life crispy and lonely. Yeah. <laughs> Deep fried loneliness. Yeah. <laughs> that's me, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a pretty good uh, description. So I'm gonna lean into that feeling. First, I'm gonna turn the delay mix all the way up, and then I'm gonna reduce the sample rate a little bit. of Endless Sleeper is obviously the second version from Beautiful Noise Effects. It's mono with no MIDI or expression control, but honestly I didn't miss any of the external controls on this because I kind of just leaned into the delay times being imperfect and making some really nice soundscapes with it that didn't call for the delay time being like exactly on the dot, you know what I mean? But I will admit, I do, I do wish this was stereo. <laughs> I do admit it would be cool if this was stereo, <laughs> but that's okay. Endless Sleeper also has really flexible modulation. Now I'm going to make a track making that modulation more extreme. So first, I'm gonna use my Von Gon replay to make a sequence that sounds like this. And then I'll plug my harp into the Endless Sleeper. And then alongside that, I'm gonna plug my replay into my Arduino Boy to make Game Boy sounds. And all that sounds like this. switch over here overloads the feedback and it can get really aggressive and loud. If you turn the delay mix down, it becomes a lot more subtle. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna plug my harp into this and then for my harp's bass pickup, I'm gonna plug into the Beautiful Noise Exploder, which sounds like this.
I'm gonna use the Endless Sleeper in a track, but I'm gonna use it more subtly. So first, I'm gonna be using the Drone Boy in my Game Boy and running it through Lossy, which sounds like this. Then I'll plug my replay into Arduino Boy and my Game Boy Advance, which sounds like this. And then I'll play my harp through the Endless Sleeper, which sounds like this. And all that sounds like this. Thank you so much to Beautiful Noise Effects for sending me The Endless Sleeper 2 and for sponsoring today's video. I should have I should have done this video while I sleep. I should have been an endless sleeper. I should have had a pillow and I should have been like this the whole time. You can still do that.